Hi, my tens of viewers. Welcome to a special edition of The Nerd Chick, Great Days in History. Today I decided to do something a little different, and I'm going to tell you some of the great events that happened on this day in history. In 1620, the French astronomer Jean Picard was born. Now you may know that name, yes, the namesake for my favorite captain. In 1861, the first battle of the Civil War started, the Battle of Bull Run, and of course the Confederacy won that, leading to the expression, the battle may be won, but the war isn't over. In 1873, Jesse James and his gang pulled off the first train robbery in the history of the United States, using one of these. Of course, it would have been a lot more interesting if he tried to use one of these. And in 1925, a sad day for all liberal thinking people, it was the end of the Scopes Monkey Trial, in which Mr. Scopes was convicted of teaching Darwin's theories. I had no idea Michelle Bachman was that old. And in a victory for all liberal-minded people, Yes, it took me 34 years to find another one, but in 1959, the New York City District Court ruled that Lady Chatterley's Lover was not a dirty book. And of course, in 1969, Apollo 11's Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the moon. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man. And in 1984, something that may turn out to be historically significant, the first documented case of a robot killing a man. Of course, this shows just how important it is to follow the three basic laws of robotics set forth by Isaac Asimov. Number one, no robot may injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to be injured. Number two, robots must obey any order given to it by a human unless that order conflicts with the first law. And number three, a robot must protect its own existence except where that would conflict with the first or second law. And in a more obscure yet strangely personal fact, in 2000, NBC discovered all of the old kinescopes for the Milton Berle show. Now, for those of you who don't understand this, I'll fill in the two facts you need to understand. Number one, what the heck's a kinescope? Back in the days of live television, they didn't actually record anything because there was no videotape. So what they did was set up a movie camera in front of a TV screen. So as they were broadcasting the show live, they were filming a picture of the broadcast. Those became known as kinescopes. And unfortunately, many of them just vanished off the face of the earth or were thrown away. Number two, so why is it personal to me? Believe it or not, my mom was a performer on the Milton Berle Texaco Star Theater. <laughs> Yeah, my mom was really talented. I know, it skipped a generation. And in 2007, one of the best and worst events happened, the publishing of the seventh and final Harry Potter book, Osseo, Deathly Hallows. But the number one event on this day in history, yes, in 2010, on July 21st, the Nerd Chick hit YouTube. Yeah. Hooray! Look, nobody else is going to celebrate it, so I figured I would. And these days in history were brought to you by a nerd.